So now, as we have put together the XML file on stage now, let's go to the Workspace ONE console and create a package for installation. Therefore, we go to provisioning components, files, and actions. So here we create for Android and files and actions, and we go here to add the files. So first of all, we go here. So then once we have the OS, we go there with SD, SD card slash OS.zip, save it, and then we add an additional file. And now we use the XML file, which is that one we used. Click to save. Add the path. Click also here to save. We go to the manifest. We add an installation manifest, which is apply custom settings, and we use the this file and we click to save. So now we have set it up. So let's name it correctly. Let's call it TZ26 and click to save. So now we go to the product provisioning to the dash to the product list view and we add it. We go to Android. So now we go with, let's name it that like that. We add the manifest. So we go there with files and actions, install, and we select the, the package, which we just called. So like that one. So we go to deployment. You can put it to required, so it's getting pushed. But as we want to have it just on demand here, so we just keep it as that. And we add the smart group. In this case, I've created a smart group. And we can put that here. Click to save. And then we can activate it. Once we have activated it, it is here. So we can go to the device. Once we go here with product, and we see here the Android 11 update. And once there, we can just send that down to the device. This is not set to automatically so that I can test it first on one device before I can then push it down to the device. Once this is done, we get on the device a small bar, status bar. After the status bar is finished, the OS upgrade is installed. So it's, get, it's rebooting. And then once the reboot is done, the OS upgrade to Android OS 11 is done. This was the overview of the process how to upgrade from Android 10 to Android 11 with this device, which is a Zebra TC26.